We are here and we are strong Let's be counted as we move on Make a difference, change lives As we tell our different stories We are capable, beautiful We are born to do great things We're unstoppable Incredible, cause we're differently abled Differently Start by doing what's necessary, then do what's possible And suddenly, you are doing the impossible Today we start off with a quote from Francis of Assisi Just to encourage you to pursue your dreams My name is Jane Theory and this is Able Differently We've got a great show lined up for you, so let's get started. We're differently abled, differently. As we continue to create more awareness on disability, the three main pillars to follow are diversity, equity, and inclusion. The Presbyterian Church has been at the forefront in advocating for inclusion in our areas of worship. On the 16th of January, PCA Karubangi South held an induction ceremony for Reverend George Obonyo. Let's take a look. On the 16th of January 2022, PCEA Karyobangi South played host to congregants who not only were there as is the norm for every Sunday, but also to witness the induction of Reverend George Obonyo. <laughs> Oboyo, unalikubali neno la mungu. Nihilo katika agano la kale na agano jipia. Kuwa, nilo kanuni ku la imani na maisha ya mwanada. Je, mchugaji George Oboyo. Unayamini mafudisho maku ya imani, ya katika mambo ya imani, ya liyo fupishwa 
yaliyochaguliwa kutoka hati ya pili ya hati za mashati za imani ya kanisa hili na kipresbyteria na East Africa The ceremony was colorful and full of fun. Philly, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, and the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, See, I have called by name Bezalel, the son of Uri, the son of Hu, the tribe of Judah. And I have filled him with the Spirit of God in wisdom, in understanding, in knowledge, and in all manner of workmanship. To design artistic works. John Muriuki couldn't hide his joy as he expressed how grateful he was for such a milestone in the places of worship. I am so happy today because it's a very, very special day. We've never seen such a day before because we have a pastor who has just been inducted to serve the specialized ministry in the PCA. We thank PCA Church for giving us an opportunity for persons with disability and we want to thank God for this opportunity. We have two pastors in the PCA church. We have Reverend Owino from Mombasa. Then now we have Reverend Obonya. True, the deaf people continue to suffer because of the job opportunity. Because when people see us, they, 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 most of the time they think that we are beggars and they are always feeling sorry for us. So we are saying that the deaf people can do anything that every other hearing person can do only if empowered and given the opportunity. Accessibility is a challenge to deaf persons. Maybe when you're going for the interviews, we need an interpreter. And maybe we don't even have an interpreter. The deaf people can work. They don't want to beg. They don't want to be given things for free. The Presbyterian Church has been at the forefront in championing for inclusivity in the places of worship, and Reverend Obonyo is the second deaf minister in the Presbyterian Church of East Africa. Presbyterian have, has, have always been the first. We enter into the waters. We test the waters. And therefore, we know we started this ministry in the, the year 2009, and we are moving on. It is everywhere in Mombasa because we sent one of the ministers there to Mempatia Mamlaka, Kama Presbytery and Nairobi East. Na tunasema ya kwamba yeye ni mwanzo. Tunataka wengi. Katika Presbytery hii ya Nairobi East, ministry hii itaenea katika parokia zetu zote. Na pia tunataka wachungaji, wazee wa kanisa, members of the Women's Guild, Men Fellowship, Youth, na wote wengi, tuwe na wengi ambao watakuwa waki erewa vizuri. Hii ministry ni ya inagani. Iri waingie katika huduma. Tunataka tuingie huduma tukiwa wengi. We all know that Jesus came to save the world and to save everybody. Thanks. I give glory to God for giving me even the Holy Spirit to serve and to continue very well. First of all, we have people who are disabled out there. Some of them are here, are disabled differently. Why? We need to change the mentality and we need to give them strength. PCEA Kariobangi South has a well-planned Sunday that also caters for deaf children. The message was from Matthew chapter 7, verse 7. It says, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and it will find. Knock and the door shall be opened to you. Praise the Lord. 
We thank God because he has given us an opportunity to teach the deaf people the word of God at a very early age. We are privileged to have a Sunday school that accommodates uh, the deaf people that have interpreters who can interpret for the deaf and we also have the deaf people who can teach the deaf children their own language. We have around 85 uh, deaf people and we also have uh, their parents and members and also their family members and also the interpreters. Susan Thuku also explained the importance of interpreters in the community. An interpreter is the voice of the deaf and the ear of the deaf people. So without the, the deaf and the interpreters need one another. So the deaf ministry involves interpreters and it involves the deaf people themselves and it also involves their family members where we come and have fellowship together and talk about God in the language that we love. So we have a hearing service that we have interpreters who interpret and we also have a fellowship with the deaf where we use sign language to fellowship with one another. The ministry started about 10 years ago and we thank God that this day is coinciding with uh, 10 years after the starting of the ministry. And we thank God for bringing us this far and for even giving us a minister to serve with the deaf people. Let's take a short breather and we'll be right back with more. Don't go too far. We're differently abled, differently.